Hey guys, what's up? Turbo Logo here, and today we are back with the 2010 FIFA World Cup South Africa runs on Legendary Difficulty. Today we're doing Mongolia because I've seen it being thrown around in the comments and I was like, that would be a really interesting nation to do because I don't really have Mongolia down as a footballing nation. I really don't. Like, like who, when you say football, do you just instantly relate to, uh, to Mongolia? You don't, do you? You, you think of like... Um, huge mountains and um, way fast like open spaces and stuff it's a beautiful country so we are in a group <laughs> a really tough one Portugal Serbia and Poland in the same group remember it's not me making these groups they always randomize it so people always comment saying well there's three European teams and one Asian team and one group it's just a game they it always randomizes it when you do a World Cup without qualification it will just be completely random so yeah please understand that our first match is against poland i just wanted to sort of clear up something a little bit a lot of people say oh you're on, you're not on legendary look it's right there it says legendary right there legendary difficulty i'm not changing it watch this look i back out and then i press play match nothing goes on between this and um, the match, nothing goes on at all. Loads of people are like, oh my god, amateur difficulty. It's like, are you serious? Like, some of the plays the computer make against me is definitely not on amateur difficulty. If you've seen it, it's definitely a world class slash legendary level. It's going to be tough this match. Poland versus Mongolia. Anybody know what of Mongolia's highest World Cup finish is? I have no idea. I reckon it's preliminary rounds. I reckon they've never got to round two of the Asia qualifying zone. Although I did see a documentary, I think on FIFA TV, about Mongolia and uh, football. And apparently they are slowly improving. So you never know. Maybe within the next, I don't know, 50 years you might see them advance to round three or even even the World Cup. You never know. Right, let's go pass it back out and then we have a shot. Oh, deflected and it almost went straight in. I was aiming for the like back right hand post sort of thing, but instead it almost caught the goalkeeper out. Poland pressing. Don't you dare. Tackled in the box. No penalty as well. That's what we love to see. Come on, Mongolia. We can't just have a group stage finish, which is probably my prediction for this one. A group stage finish. Um, the group is just ridiculously hard. Serbia, Poland and Portugal. Any famous Mongolian footballers? Anybody know of? <laughs> like, anybody? Oh, Poland's keeper coming out. He's just giving it away, though. I'm just going to... Oh, don't header it. Don't header it. Shoot it. Shoot the ball with your foot. And uh, over the top. Yeah, look at this. Poland are exposed. Look at this. Gambat. Gambat, come on. Get off of him. Oh, that was a good save. I mean, the shot wasn't perfect, but the ball over the top was brilliant. And we pierced their defence and just went through Borak with a good save. Yeah, Poland seemed very disorientated in the first sort of um, first half. Okay, they've had a couple of like balls into the box and maybe a chance here or there, but really um, not that dominant as you'd expect from Poland. Can we tackle him, please? Like it would be great. Yalen went for the header. Come on, goalkeeper, get it. That was so close. That was really close. Poland were a fraction away from taking the lead. Thankfully, the post was there for us. And it's nil-nil at half time. Come on, Mongolia. Even a draw here would be fantastic for a first result. They seem pretty plucky, their team. They seem pretty good. They they seem to be sort of like a good build for a half-star team. Turn. Shot. Yes! Goal! We used our back and turned round. And Serenshav, is that how you say it? Serenshav scores... Look at this goal here. Look, the defender was wrong-footed when I sort of, like, came towards the ball. He had to chase me. I turned my back on him, and it was just too late. I already made the shot. Like, that kind of, like, stuff, like, on these difficulties, you need to exploit. A lot of people, that's what, I think that's why a lot of people get confused and say, oh, it's on a lower difficulty, blah, blah, blah. But no, it's not, because, like, I play this game so much that I just know the exploits. I just know it. And that's not me being cocky or anything and saying I'm, like, super good at the game. I'm just saying I know what it takes to score with these nations. But defending, oh, <laughs> I, I, I'm still rusty at defending. 
has to be game over once they kick us out. It is. We get a really strong performance against Poland. It was only 1-0, but that's all we need. That's all we need. Three points on the board and a fantastic start for Mongolia in this World Cup. Their first one as well. Second match, we're against Serbia, Vidic and company for this one. You know the drill with Serbia. Very, very defensive team. It's going to be tough to break them down, but I'm sure Mongolia have got it. I think their attack was quite impressive against Poland. We had a lot of shots. Sigic is basically like, like his character model is like when you play, like when you see NBA. Oh, what? They scored that? Sigic's uh, character model is basically just like when Shaquille O'Neal went into the NBA. Like, <laughs> just like Shaquille O'Neal is a huge man, a huge man. And that's what Sigic is on this game. He's just huge. And that was another chance wasted by Serbia. They're already 1 0 up. Please don't crush me, Serbia. Please don't. Over the top of, to him. Over to him. Maybe I can get it before the goalkeeper does. Oh, he punches it out. Hang on. Go on. Oh, why did you chip it? What were you doing? There was a massive I open our goal opportunity. That's basically me right now. I'm just like, why? Why? Why would you do that? That was a massive open goal opportunity. I think what it was is I was trying to frantically switch player. And um, it must have had like shot delay or button delay or something. And I accidentally chipped the ball. No, don't you dare. Get in front of him. Get in front of him. Oh, that was lucky that he missed that. If Serbia go 2 0 up in this game, it's effectively game over. We haven't even managed to got, get past their stubborn defence. I just can't get past them at the moment. It's, it's, it's really annoying to win the first game and suddenly just like be stale in this one. We've had had a couple of chances, but they've gone wide or like just like the keepers like just basically done nothing. Oh no, don't, don't. Oh, thank you. Oh, there's a foul there. I managed to get past like, quite a lot of them there. And I got tripped up at the end, but I think it's going to come back for a free kick. Yeah, look at that. I got tripped up twice in that build-up. Okay, we do have a chance, but look how many Serbian players are in the box. There's got to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's eight of them in there. How defensive does Serbia want to get? I know it's the end of the game, but come on. Oh my god, that was brilliant. That was brilliant by Gan Batarian. I didn't even I didn't even see that. I didn't even see that. I just passed it to him and I just shot. Oh wait, he did a flare shot. This guy did a flare shot. It came to him over here. He's like, I got it, don't worry. He kind of like he kinda like chips it a little bit, if you know what I mean. Like he just kinda goes dink and it just goes straight in. That's actually amazing. We find ourselves back at 1-1. One, one. Can we snatch the winning goal? Maybe. That was so lucky that even the, like the flare on the shot, like he even tried that. I was just like, what? Like this guy's a 40 rated player and he just does that out of nowhere. Oh, it's gone straight to him. He's there, still got it. Oh my God, that was so close. Please don't do that again. Now we didn't win that one, but at least we rescued it. And um, again, a point to point. You just look at the tables then. So we're not quite safe yet because Portugal and me have to play each other. And I could very well lose that one because Portugal, the best team in this group. But um, Serbia have also got to play Poland as well. So that means if Serbia beat Poland, they'll have five points and Portugal will have seven and I'll get knocked out by a point. So I need to draw to guarantee my safety at least so that Serbia will get knocked out. It's going to be difficult, but I'm going to try. I'm really going to try it. Last match of the group stage is against Portugal. It's the biggest one. David versus Goliath in this one. Mongolia need to get a draw to ensure their safety. They can't really rely on Poland to beat Serbia, especially when Poland are without a win in this tournament. Let's go for finesse. Let's go for it. Go for it. Oh my god. Keeper had to save it with one hand. And that was almost on target. Well, I think it was on target, but obviously Keeper saved it. But it just needed that finesse shot to be a bit higher. No, don't let Raul Morales go through and score. Don't. Oh my god, no. No. How did he get that angle off? I mean, I guess the post helped him out, but Morales scores. At least it's not our reach as we come into half time. We still are like only losing 1 0, and the Serbia game is still 0 0. So we're still going through on this result, only on this result. That finesse shot should have absolutely gone in. But Singwa's going to cross it in. 
Get in front again. Oh, good save. And Serbia have taken the lead against Poland. I just saw that come up on the screen. So we're going out at the moment. We need this goal. Come on, we can't be hanging around. Oh, Pepe clips me there. I knew he was going to go in for the slide tackle, and there it is. It wouldn't be a Portugal match without Pepe getting booked. He had to do it. He just saw me, and I was like, yeah, he's going for it, and there it is. Just got to hope he does that again now, and then hopefully we can get a, uh, a red card. Oh, my God. Oh. Like, how did the ball propel itself that far forward? And I couldn't select any player and they scored. That was horse shit. That was absolute horse shit. Like, oh, my God. Are you kidding me? On that play, I tackled him. Oh, it's, it, I, it won't show you, but you saw what happened. The ball got propelled forward and I couldn't catch him up and he just slots it in and we're basically going out unless Poland can do me an absolute solid and rescue this run get in there get in there ah oh. go for it oh my god the keeper made a really really good save that should have gone in absolutely look it came out here headed out and I was going for it and for some reason it had to go towards the keeper couldn't go left or right it had to go straight at the keeper can we get a consolation? Yes, we can. There's literally like a few seconds in the game. Literally a few seconds. Can we please steal it at the end? Please. Ah, oh, where was this at the start of the match? Where was this play? Like, where was this kind of play? Like, I never had this kind of opening at the start of the match. Pepe and Ricardo Cavalier were all over me. We got 12 seconds. 12 seconds. No. Uh, damn it. Ah. Oh. But this, this, this team had so much potential, but we just ran into Portugal. That's all we did. Like any other team, we beat Poland 1-0. We drew against Serbia. We had to come back against them, but we did it. And we just couldn't find, we just couldn't find the, the finishing in this one. And that's really disappointing because I saw potential in Mongolia. I saw it and I hate going out like that. I've said it time and time again, I hate going out when I have the potential in my hands and I know I can win a game and I just can't do it because for whatever reason, please glitch, save me. Wait a minute, I think the glitch has saved me because it hasn't said, it hasn't said that I've been knocked out. Let's continue it. Yes, yes, the glitch saved me. Yes, I get another chance. Just to reiterate, it is on Legendary. Uh, like, it really is. Look, it's right here. I'm not changing it. Like, how many times do I have to say that I'm not doing it on any lower difficulty? I'm just reaffirming it. And that's the last time I'm going to do it. Let's go then. Round of 16 match against England. Let's hope we can dump England out in this one. Mongolia have been pretty impressive up until the Portugal match. I feel like we were lacking finishing. Let's hope it doesn't happen in this match. No, Heskey. Oh, my God. I thought he scored a wildie against me. Please, game. Don't punish me like that. I mean, if Heskey scored a wildie against me, that would be pretty incredible. But still, I just don't want it to end this run from a Heskey 30 yarder. Over the top to Heskey. It's running through. Please don't. Like, he goes for the cross, but the keeper's going to get there. Punched away. Goes to straight to Frank Lampard. Keeper, please. Oh, my God. Heskey again nearly scores. <laughs> Hits the post, fortunately for us. Oh, hello. We could change it right now with Gambat. Shrug him off and almost score. Rob Green palmed it away, and it actually went in the right direction. I was hoping it would bounce more to his left so I could just tap it in, but didn't happen. Of course it didn't. Half time then, and it's nil nil between these two sides. Very competitive indeed. Um, I'm just hoping that I can get the the goal. That mohawk, the colour on that mohawk is really good. You've got your yellow, your light blue, and uh, your red there. I love this game with that stuff like that. If EA brought that back for like next gen like stuff for a World Cup game, honestly, it would sell like hotcakes. Oh, that's a bad tackle, but we we're, we're through anyway. Oh, go on, yes. Come on, 1-0. Oh, thank God for that. We shouldn't even be here, but Sharon Shad, or however you say it, scores the first goal of this match. Finally, it was a bit lucky because Rob Green palmed it to us. There was a foul as well, so they couldn't really touch me. So, well, I mean, it would have benefited them if they actually touched me because 
they would have got the free kick and I wouldn't have scored it. That was a great goal. Great positioning there from the other striker and John Terry gets a yellow. We're 1-0 up. Okay, now they've brought on Jermaine Defoe. Now the game is getting serious. Watch this. He, he will score within the next 20 minutes. He will. Oh, wait, what? Rooney scored just then? Well, he just scored from outside the box and it was just a P-roller. Come on, game. You can't do me like that. Like, Rooney, like, in most of my playthroughs recently, if you've been following closely, he hasn't actually been that good in front of goal. But Rooney just goes, yeah, turn around, and it was just on the edge of the box, just slightly on the edge. Look at that ridiculous ball to Jermaine Defoe. Like, get out of here, game. Like, he almost scored. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's almost like it's scripted that Jermaine Defoe is supposed to score. Like, no, don't. Don't score against me. Good tackle. Through ball here? Yes. Come on. We're literally behind all of them. Can we get a good cross into the guy at the back? I see him. Go for the header. That was awful. What are you playing at? Like, anybody would have scored that. Anybody. Like, even I would have scored that. Oh, what the hell? Why did you leave it to go right the way through to Rooney? You've basically given them a shot to score. That is bullshit. Oh my god, I don't want to slide him out. No, oh, why did Rooney do that? He could have just went through and tap it in. He should have done that easily. The best thing we can do in this scenario, really, is take England to penalties. Because before 2018, England were terrible at penalties. And yes, England have only won like one penalty shootout in, since 2018 till now, I think, or two. But, like, yeah, like... Back here, they were terrible at uh, penalties. The penalty curve still was about, and it still kind of is to this day, to be fair. I mean, against Italy, the penalty curse was there. So, oh, wow. That was great play. Come on. Score? Yes! Come on. 2-1. That play was amazing to thread this guy through. And Gambatarian scores in the 98th minute to make it 2-1 to Mongolia. Rooney to Defoe. Okay, I think it's over. I think it is. Yes, we beat England 2-1 in the round of 16. We march on to the quarterfinals. That was a really, really tough game. But in extra time, we got it. Quarterfinal time now for Mongolia. So who we got next then in this insane run? We got France. So you can't say I haven't faced any hard teams uh, in this one. Because I really have. So what we got then? So we got a quarterfinal situation here between Mongolia versus France, Germany versus Scotland, Portugal versus Nigeria, and Holland versus Chile. So the best situation that could happen for me is if, if I beat France, it's to go against Scotland in the semi-finals, and then hopefully either play Chile or Nigeria in the final. That's how I'm planning it in my head. It won't go like that because Germany will probably have Scotland, and then. You know, it'll, they'll probably knock me out. Or here, France will just absolutely trounce me. Let's see if we can beat France. This is a big one because if we win here, we're definitely guaranteed a fourth place, place finish in this one. And that will be great for Mongolia. Even though, like I said, it is a glitch run. So we shouldn't really be here. But, like I said, we've been blessed. And Mongolia have been blessed with a second chance. Let's make the most of it. Shignac, really, really tough to deal with on this game. Super annoying. And that just that was just so easy for France. That was so easy. Benzema scores in the sixth minute. And we need to drag ourselves out of another mess. That was so easy for France. Look at that. Like, nobody even moved on that one. Not even the goalkeeper. I don't think France had to move that hard on that one either. Struggling in this one a little bit to find my feet in this one. Like, France are just far faster than me, far stronger than me. Of course, England were as well, but there was just, like, a little bit of, like, a competitiveness about Mongolia in that one. This one, there is none. Benzema misses a sitter. That was a good pass, and they're going to score. Yeah, they're up defence all over the place. France are taking massive advantage of that. I think they're punishing me because I shouldn't be in this situation. Should have been knocked out a long time ago. Just a shame, really, because look at my defence. They're just grouped up in one place, and oh, it's just frustrating. Just so frustrating. We're never going to get back into this game. Cross it in, and uh, that almost went straight in, even though the goalkeeper was right there on the post. 
No, of course not. Of course not. Sagna just gets in front of him. Didn't even like make it any effort. It just it was so effortless for him to just get in front of me and stop me from scoring. That's a penalty. Yes, we got a penalty and a chance to get back into this game. I'm not going to use the goalkeeper to score it because I'm down 2-0 and I need my best penalty taker on the job. So we need to do this. Yep, yeah, there we go. That's 2-1. So there is a comeback on the cards. And this guy has been pretty good. Seren Shav, he's been very good in this World Cup. He's got a goal back against France. We're quite fortunate to get the penalty, to be fair. I feel it was quite light. Like, usually you don't get a penalty for getting knocked down in the box unless you're actually slide tackled in the box. Oh yeah, Seren Shav, come on. You're, you're, you're the hero of this. But no, your finishing is just, okay, you've been good. But that finish was terrible. The finesse shot in the back of the net, that's all I wanted. Oh, fucking. I wish one of these defenders would get sent off. I wish one of them would. Oh no, where's my defence though? Uh, are you kidding me? I had to send the goalkeeper out. I had to, because I just couldn't get back. And Shignac just chips my keeper. The defence pushes forward so much. Like, where were they on this play? Look at all five of them there. They're just all pushed up, and then they all had to jog back. That stupid decision. I didn't even have him in attacking either. I've got him on neutral. Look at that, neutral. So, for some reason, Mongolia just love to push forward on their normal their normal sort of setting, which is just like, okay, great, but you're against France. Nazri. I mean, it's game over already, but they're just going to amplify it, and somehow that went in. The goalkeeper saved it, and Flamini just had to rub salt in the rooms, and it's 4-1. For God's sake, France. Really? We were so good up until this point. Like, okay, the Portugal match, we were, we were pretty bad in that one as well, but... Oh, so annoying. And straight into Lloris's hands yet again. Another terrible performance in a deep run of a one-star nation. I, I always get this far, either quarter-final or semi-final, and I just hit a wall. And I can't, I can't seem to, like, get around it. And it's so frustrating. I can't rack my brain. And it's just, oh, so annoying. So Germany beat Nigeria in the final. So there we go. We could have had Nigeria in the final. Okay, we would have had to play Germany and... Um, we probably wouldn't have beaten Germany because Germany thrashed Scotland 4-0 and then beat France 3-2. So that was a really good game. Nigeria beat Holland 3-1 and um, also beat Portugal as well. So that was a really good run. And unfortunately, they just lost the final. I mean, if I did better against France, I could have had a chance to maybe get in the final with Nigeria. But anyway, that was your run with Mongolia. Of course, it was a glitched run. So take it how it is. Maybe you probably think that I should have been knocked out in the group stages. I feel personally I shouldn't have been, but I did. And I was prepared to accept it. But uh, thankfully we did get a quarterfinal run with uh, Mongolia, which is pretty good to be fair. Despite the poor result against France, I will take that any day of the week. And I really hope you enjoyed it. Give it a like and subscribe if you did. Keep it local as always. And I'll see you again for the next video. Thank you.